manifesting. Hey guys, so I want to do a little talk today on the, um, you know, the process of manifesting and some of the things that came up for me because I'm working on manifesting um, you know, things in my life. And sometimes we get caught up in the lack and the absence of it, the void. Um, so whenever I channel, that is what it comes in as, um, of course, and it's just not manifested yet. And so there are some things that kind of wanted to come out today. And I was actually listening to one of, um, I don't know if you've seen her videos yet, but she was talking about it. She was talking about one of her vid on her videos that a client had was struggling with the manifestation process and so she did a, a video to help navigate that and so that was really you know a great segue um you know for for those watching that video but to help that client from that point of view um because we always all go there right we're trying to manifest on the other side you know when i had the near-death experience Everything was instantaneous, right? We don't have this lag in time. We don't have this process that we go through that we actually have to put you know, effort into thought, intention, manifesting, you know, the process, evolving, trying to learn it, trying to evolve it, trying to understand it, because um, it doesn't manifest instantaneously here. There is a process, right? And people who say that it, there was an instant manifestation is not true right so i have this little van fan going on here because it's so hot out <laughs> um but there's no instant manifestation no matter what it is and if you think it is instant manifestation then you're not seeing the whole process because for it to be an instant manifestation is something you've forgotten about that you've worked on at some point and you've kind of gone off track or you've been taken out into the field into the weeds and then brought back when it was ready so and then it can appear as instant manifestation but when i do my channelings they tell me there is no instant manifestation we just forget about it it's the path right and so when we can't get and we're struggling fighting against ourselves what happens is the universe takes us off into the fields right it takes us off into work on something else to bring something else so we can take our focus off of it so we can let up on it right and so then we will come back at a different time when the manifesting of the universe has found the component because what's happening when we are manifesting working on certain things and we get too serious about it is the universe is like okay let's let's take them off the path it's kind of like when you're um listening to maybe a teaching or you're showing up for some kind of class or you start nodding off because either you're losing interest or <laughs> you know you're not getting it it's not sinking in so the universe takes you out <laughs> so you can be out of your mind your ego your struggle your suffering and then it can be dropped in for you and i don't know if you've had that experience where a lot of people will sit and do try to manifest but they just kind of get nodded out, right? And so that's the, the process that the universe does, right? We get nodded out and actually it's just us going off into a different direction, which is plan B. It's off into the fields and the weeds, working on something else while this is manifesting, while the universe is working on this because it can't work on this while you're being in seriousness and struggle and suffering. And instead of taking you down <laughs> into worse down the rabbit hole and struggling it would prefer to take you out of the field and let you go work on something else keep you busy and then when it's ready through its sifting and sorting what it's doing trying to find the components for you to bring it back in so you meet up at a later time so because when we get too serious going down the rabbit hole we could be like heading into poverty or off the wrong track or whatever it is that creates and we jump on that path of suffering and so to obscure that um, it does its best to take you off the path right and so it may have you oh here's an idea oh here's an idea so go work on this you know and then you go off on that path like a shiny penny but then at some point you come back and then it can appear like oh here it is 
instant manifestation, but it wasn't. It was the process that's going on behind the scenes. And so when we get too serious about certain things, and I'm guilty of it, and I'm, I'm not going to be, I'm going to be transparent, you know, because I'm working on things, and I get caught up in the whole thing. And she was talking about how sometimes you do have to have a side gig, you know, to help make ends meet while you're working on certain things, because I'm trying to grow the uh, YouTube channel, you know, I am working on creating courses, and I'm working on my books and my channeling. Um, and at some point I want to have a center, you know, um, so, you know, all this is coming together. And so I, I can understand <laughs> why the universe does take you off. And that was part of the channeling this morning for that. So that was a great segue into this morning's channeling. So shout out to Jesse and Bear, Berrigan. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And I do apologize, you know, if that is, um, being mispronounced, but Bargrian. Sorry. Um, but yeah, check them out. I can, um, you know, maybe post their link below, but I don't know if that's um, allowed. So I, I'm just going to give a shout out, you know, to them, you know, for doing that video because it's going to help a lot of people, you know, because what we think of like instant manifestation doesn't actually exist in the physical form. Everything has a timeline and a leg because if you think about it and you're creating something and it's going to include other people, that means the universe has to go out and find other people who are willing to work with you. And not everybody is because they have free will and choice and they may not be wanting to. And you may have need a specific person that has certain qualities or abilities. You know, if you're creating a business, you're going to want the right person. You don't want to just accept, you know, just somebody. And that's all important. And we want to kind of take a look at that, you know, because if you're trying to have a business and you're setting that up or whatever it is, you want the right people. But some people will just satisfy it and settle for others and then it doesn't work out, right? And then they say, oh, well, it's not working out, so I'm giving up. No, <laughs> you've just not taken the right person. You didn't have the right understanding. You didn't have the right considerations. And so part of what dropped in today was, you know, don't use your circumstances. Determine your worth, your value, or your outcome of situation, what you're creating, right? And it's okay to go off in the weeds and start focusing on something else, take your attention off of it, right? And so we sometimes need to do that. And so having that side gig does that for you. But if you get caught up in a side gig and say, this is not my path, and you're suffering because of that, then that's not helping you, <laughs> right? So, you know, just be mindful with what you're working on. And then it says, <clears throat> when I channeled more, it says, don't use it as an excuse to give up um, on something that you're working on and just because you think it's not working um, out in the moment, right? It's the progress, the progression of it that's manifesting behind the scenes that we don't always see, right? And so um, just keep going forward is what it's saying. And so don't let it determine how you feel about something which is own, your own suffering. You're creating your own suffering. And when your goals don't match the outcome and your expectation, it creates the barrier, which is the resistance of it showing up for you, right? Because then you're going to get to the point and be like, oh, I'm going to give up, right? And so the more you're in resistance, you can feel yourself being dragged down. You're kind of getting depressed, <laughs> you know, and then you start going down that rabbit hole. And so then you're in limbo and you think it's never meant to be. And so a lot of people give up, right? But we got to kind of look at it from that point of view, you know, um, you know, maybe I need to go off into the weeds and think of something and work on something else, you know, whether it be that, you know, I go and just do some painting or take my mind off of it or go out in nature, go for a walk, sit in meditation, go swimming, go out in the rain. Like yesterday uh, was a really great day for me. It poured down rain. And so I ended up going and just being in the rain, just standing there in the rain and just letting it wash over me, which brought out my inner child, which was the bliss, right? And so it kind of helped shift the energy and vibration of what work on. Because I myself, like I said, you know, have to work at the moment a side gig, you know, but the mind is like, okay, because you're in that, you're thinking, oh, well, now, you know, I'm off the track. But we're never off the track, right? It's just helping you along the track. And because we have the physical out, physicality of, you know, having to pay bills, having to do things, having to actually physically do it instead of instant manifesting like on the other side, 
you know, we have things that we have to do, you know, to be here, unfortunately. And that's part of what I struggle with. You know, part of me is like, well, my expectations <laughs> are totally different than what this reality brings, right? <laughs> so trying to live and manifest that because for me, having, you know, come in here, having the attention of what my soul was creating and then my human self, that version, shedding that, going through the awakening, the near-death experience, going back home to be reminded to come back. <laughs> it's been a whole process for me. Um, and then just to having going through now receiving, you know, the understanding of manifesting, teachings, being, you know, where I am in the moment. Um, part of myself having that reminder, the near death experience, part of me still is like, oh, instant manifestation. Why am I not there, right? And so, <laughs> so I myself are working through that, right? And so just keep moving through, you know, it's not that you, it's not the path that you're not meant to be on because you are the creator. You're the creator of all things that you want to experience. And if you are on the path wanting to create something, stick with it, right? Don't change paths because somebody said something or it's not manifesting instantaneously for you, right? And so just allow the process and experience to, to move you through it right? Because the universe is out there working for you on your behalf, right? And so when things show up, it's showing you where you are. And so a lot of people understand that concept. But as it's showing you where you are, because you're, you're working with the universe, right? And you're like, okay, yes, I want this. No, I don't want that. Okay, I'm sure this is showing up. So this is where I am. But it's just showing you where you are in the moment, right? And so which is either the lack or void of what you are wanting. And so it helps you to get an idea. It's not meant for you to take it serious that this isn't meant for me or this isn't the right path or but we get into those kinds of thinking and thoughts um, related to manifesting we need to get out of that right and just allow the process and go do something else in the meantime and let the universe do its thing um and get out of the way and that's what you know abraham hicks talks about a lot of times is just get out of your own way you know and so that's the presumption and the perspective that you know, this isn't meant for me, I'm not good enough, you know, I'm not worthy enough um, of this manifestation, it's not meant to be. And so then we kind of go down that rabbit hole, you know, but, um, you know, knowing that, you know, what we are wanting and wanting to create is going to, at some point, it's just the allowing of it, you know, for ourselves. And so, you know, just kind of think about it, you know, um, and then just, don't listen to those who are saying it's instant manifestations because that's not accurate. You know, that is just them um, forgetting about the path that led up to where they are that they're receiving it, right? And so they, uh, to them, it appears as in instant manifestation. And there's people out there that talk about, well, maybe, you know, this isn't right for you. This isn't your path. And that's wrong too. And um, I don't remember his name, but he's one of the more um pronounced popular ones that talk about manifestation and he's like he says things about like well you know how come this works for one person and doesn't work for another person it's not because it's not meant to it's just where you are in the process of it right and so it has nothing to do with that and so a lot of people are out there teaching the wrong thing um based on it um you know it but it's based on their perspective you know and that's their journey that's where they have to go around but I would not listen to a lot of people <laughs> and just know that where you are is uh, where you're meant to be. And that's the other thing that came in, um, you know, and just trust anything because as you're setting your point on manifesting something, you know, just stick with it. Right. And if you have to go off in the weeds or be taking out <laughs> because we're struggling, you know, with why it's not here yet, just allow it. Right. If you have to go get, you know, like, um, Jesse said, um, a side gig to help out and do that. You know, that's what I do. But I myself, like I said, get caught up in that persona. And it's like, it kind of brings the energy down, you know, because I'm excited about this, but then I have to do that, which I'm not really excited about, <laughs> which kind of has the conflict. But it's the process of manifesting that you're going through. Okay, what do I want? What do I not want? You know, and it's just kind to feeling your way through. But, you know, just allow to stay on the path. You don't have to give up. 
um, what your intention is, your goals is going to manifest. It's just when is it ready? And because again, you know, the universe is seeking out the right components for you. That's going to be in alignment for you. And if it, again, if it has to do with somebody or something else, it just has to be at the right timing, the right people, you know, and that's the course, the due course of time. And so the existence of it exists and you're on the path. You don't have to give it up or say it's not working. Um, it is working for you. It's just what you're working on manifesting is not the same as others. And where you are is where you need to be. And that is the creation of what it is. And so it may not even be in this lifetime, but it's the beginning of it, which creates into another lifetime, you know. And unfortunately, you know, sometimes that's just the way it is, what you're working on. But this thief, this life feeds into another. And that's just the example. But it gives you an opportunity to work on it now. Uh, what's going to manifest later and it's really up to you know other components that are part of which is going to align at the right time that'll show up when it's ready and so you may see little bits and pieces coming together manifesting you know visions feelings just to know everything is working out and then everything is just meant to be you know where it is that it needs to be at the right timing for you and so I like to feed into, you know, the showing up of the components, right? And so part of what I'm wanting to create is to travel around the United States, right? And so one of them that I want to go to is to like the great trees, right? And to manifest a trip there as part of it and going around and seeing the different, um, you know, wonders of the world, right? And so that's what it kind of excites me is to go see the beautiful things that are part of the physical realm, right? And on that journey, there's certain things that I want, but, you know, because I want them to be a part of my manifestation, my trip, you know, they need to come into fruition. And so to have that, there's other things to work on, right, which is the baseline of creating that, you know, on the other side, great, oh, I want this and I want this and bam, right? <laughs> you know, here, if you want to go in a van, you actually have to get the van right? You actually have to map out your trip. You have to actually do these things and it all takes time. And so there is no instant manifestation. It's the building up of it, which is creating it in the timeline for you. And so again, it may be this timeline and maybe next timeline, which really depends on what you're working on, but it's always evolving more and more into what you're working on creating, right? And so what are you manifesting? So take a look at what is going to be a part of it, right? Because you're going to need certain things. If you're wanting to go across the country and you don't even have a job, then, you know, you have to get a job in order to make the money to go, right? Or you got to come up with a way that money is going to come to make that happen, right? It's not an instant manifestation. It doesn't happen that way. And although if you have the ability to, you know, I mean, who knows? Maybe somebody will come into your life and be like, here, here's $5,000 for what? Oh, I don't know. Like Mr. Bean or Big or whatever his name is, he's always giving out money. Who knows? Maybe that'll happen, you know, but there's other aspects too that are needing to come into play. Like you need to actually, you know, make the route for your trip, right? And so, I mean, you can just kind of wing it, but, you know, you do have that option as well. So it really depends on what you're actually working on. Are you creating a school? Are you creating, you know, whatever it is that you're manifesting or wanting to create? So, you know, a lot goes into it, right? So, you know, if, if going off into the, the weeds or the side, side rails, you know, the plan B, you know, if you need to do that, maybe to learn something, right? And so maybe you need to take a course or maybe you need to do this to get that knowledge because you don't have it. And so I'm doing that. I'm taking a side course. And I have a side gig and then I'm working and manifesting on this. And so at some point it's all going to come together. And then if there are people or components outside of what you can do, we have to kind of when they're ready. Right. And so <laughs> that right person has to come into you. And again, like if it involves other people to work with, you don't want to just take anybody. You want to have the right person. And Abraham Hicks talked about that, you know, is trying to find the right person that fits that um, role, you know, that you're going to have, be able to work things out with. You don't want to just accept anybody because it's not going to work out. And then you have to go find another person, right? You got to let the universe do all of it for you. If we get in our own way, you know, we end up 
suffering or in the wrong path. Well, I don't want to say the wrong path because you're never on the wrong path, but you're going off into the weeds, right? And so you're kind of having to revamp and reevaluate re that. So, but just knowing that, and you can look at that, you know, just to give you an example, like when you go for a job, they're looking for the right person, right? And so when you go for a job interview, you're looking for the right employer, right? Because if you don't, what happens? You get into the job and you're like, oh my God, what is this? <laughs> what am I doing? Why am I here? Why am I working in this situation? Because we didn't look at the requirements. We didn't go see the place. We didn't feel it out. We didn't do the necessary discernment on that process, right? And so we, and when we just accept anything, you know, we just accept anything. And that's what the universe gives, right? And so what is your value and your worth based on what it is that you're manifesting and what are you accepting to yourself, right? And we're always creating because we are creators, so we cannot not create. So we're always creating every moment. And so as you're doing your creation, you're changing. Because, and then that was the other thing that came and dropped in. We're always changing every second, every moment, because every moment is a new moment. And when I am in this moment, this is who I am. When I'm in this moment, this is who I am. And I'm in this moment, I'm, I am changing and evolving. My thoughts are constantly going. And every time you change and evolve, so does the response from the universe, right? And so <laughs> um, the universe has to keep up with how you're changing and evolving in the evolution of manifesting, right? And so there's a lot to it that's the components and pieces behind the scene of manifesting. So the process of it can take a little while. So just be gentle and kind to yourself, you know, in the process. Um, because what we don't see is the process of the manifesting going on behind the scenes, that source in the universe is working out for you to show up for you in the right timing um, where we are, right? And so either we're in, in lag or the universe is in lag or other people are in lag, whatever it is, there's always components that are in lag that are trying to generate and create and bring all the pieces together in the right timing, right? And so then they show up and there you are, you have your manifestations, right? And so there's a lot of pieces going on, pieces of the puzzle that they, they tell me um, behind the scenes. So just try to take that and remember that in consideration, you know, with your process of manifestation and don't take it so hard and too serious because um, that kind of just puts in more conflict, you know, to where you're going. Um, and I think I'll just do the reading on the channel, because I don't want to do that, you know, on here, but I will do a, like a reading for like a podcast on and post that of what I actually downloaded and um, channel through automatic writing about that. So that's just kind of a gist of it. I wanted to share that in a little video, but I'll link it up um, to the podcasts um, when I get that posted so you can um, hear what I wrote as far as the automatic writing so it'll maybe help bring things together if you have any questions just drop them below um, and yeah thanks for tuning in happy journeys happy manifesting